Welcome to Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question, visit our website, quranspeaks.com, and submit your question to us there. Dr. Shabir, the question is, some people are hoarding groceries and, and cleaning items like hand sanitizer out of fear of supplies running out. Does our religion condemn hoarding and buying in excess or extravagantly? Hmm. Well, in, in a commercial context, uh, yes, uh, because some merchants may want to uh, hoard uh, goods uh, so that the uh, demand is uh, increased and, and then uh, naturally the price will go up. So, so this is called uh, you know, hoarding for commercial purposes and price gouging. This is definitely condemned uh, in the Islamic tradition. If one were just simply buying uh, out of fear for oneself, uh, then uh, this takes on a different coloring. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, n normally, uh, we would be expected to plan ahead and buy some things that we anticipate we might need in the near future anyhow. But if we're in a situation, uh, even buying as individuals, where uh, we're just buying out of uh, simple greed and, and, and self-service, like we uh, not caring for others and you know whether anybody else will go find uh, these goods in the stores, we just buy whatever we see, we just buy all of it uh, for ourselves. Uh, this, this is greed, this is avarice. And the Quran tells us, Whoever is saved from his own avarice, uh, that is the person who is uh, the, the, the successful one. Mm -hmm. Those are the successful people, those who are saved from their own avarice. So we, we shouldn't let greed and, and avarice take the better of us, but rather uh, we should be calm in our situations. Uh, we Yes, we need to... Uh, uh, look out for ourselves, uh, that's true. We need self-preservation, that's a natural human instinct. Uh, but uh, it's not a good idea to get into panic buying and to deprive other people of uh, goods that they will need as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for your time, Dr. Shabir. I appreciate your efforts. You're welcome.